Tonight we're getting an inside look as hundreds of animals make the move up I-95. The DC Aquarium, located in the Commerce Building since 1932, closed its doors a few weeks ago. Well, now the staff is working to move most of the 2,500 inhabitants to Baltimore's National Aquarium. ABC7 veterinarian Dr. Katie Nelson went behind the scenes of the big move. The South American electric eel packs a punch of almost 700 volts of electricity as much as the third rail of the subway. So as the DC Aquarium's caregivers take this slippery guy out of his tank, they have to take extra special precautions. Our, our guys had on rubber gloves and uh, you know we basically we instead of using a, a net with uh, with mesh on it, we used a, a plastic bag, got them into the plastic bag um, and uh, worked them that way so that we don't really have to handle the animal too much and get in the water. Uh, we, certainly with the precautions that we took, I don't think anybody was really in any, any danger whatsoever. They're also moving this alligator gar, a large freshwater fish. They spent more than a month training it to swim onto this stretcher for this exact moment. It actually went really well. He guided right over into the net and we lifted it up and right in there and over the side and into the, the transport tub. These star attractions, as well as hundreds of fish, are then loaded onto this truck to head to Baltimore. People see water coming out of a box truck and they might question what's going on there. A trip up I-95 can be stressful for anyone, so today they'll be monitoring the temperature, oxygen level, and pH levels of the water while they travel. The animals will be quarantined for about two weeks at an off-site animal care center before being transferred to the National Aquarium in Baltimore. Typically our quarantine periods are a minimum of 45 days for most fish um, and sometimes as long as 90 days, but most of these fish have already been through quarantine at the animal care center. By March, all the remaining animals will be moved to their new homes all over the country. Dr. Katie Nelson, ABC 7 News. Wow, that's a lot of electricity yeah, in that eel. A, yeah, that's a good way to clear, but that's a good way to clear traffic. Tell that's everybody true. you've got an electric eel on board. <laughs> no kidding, precious cargo. All right, up next.